from all walks of life around our great city of Geelong. They're coming down for the opening of the exhibition, Memory Bank. And joining us is the station coordinator from Vision Australia Radio here in Geelong, Robin Turner. Welcome, Robin. Thank you, Graham. How are you tonight? V very impressed with this uh, opening night and uh, the exhibition that Malcolm McKinnon uh, has put on. Of course, we were very fortunate enough to uh, have Malcolm on our Tuesday magazine program that gave us a, a good insight into what this is all about. But um, we have a wonderful association with the National War Museum and the City of Greater Geelong at Vision. Oh, that's for sure. But uh, even the preview from Malcolm the other day didn't give us any idea of what it was really going to be like. It is absolutely fabulous. Uh, you know, the whole look and feel of it is just mind-blowing. And this is only at the beginning of the uh, the exhibition. We start off on level, uh, or level, actually they call it level four, but it's yep. at the ground level yes. uh, before we move up to the actual memory bank exhibition. Um, great uh, organisation and institution we've had. Oh, it's a fabulous asset to Geelong. You know, it keeps us in touch with our history and our past, and uh, I think it's a wonderful organisation. And I'm very proud to be uh, associated with it through the radio station. And this opening exhibition here that we have, uh, which is uh, continuing memories, and the, the, it, it tells a wonderful story in that rock formation, doesn't it? Oh, it does. And just the artworks, the Aboriginal artworks, the ships, you know, the whole history of it, that, that image of the bay and everything else is just fabulous. Thank you to Robin Turner. Enjoy the exhibition. Well, thank you, Graham. When the men come to the news, or the news come to the men, we wouldn't be without David Cairns, who's the editor of our own Geelong News. Yes, all four editions. Welcome, David. How are you? I'm very well, Graham. Really pleasant to be here with so many people. It's just terrific. Yes, there's some 500 people been uh, on the guest list tonight at, uh, at what is uh, a memory bank exhibition. Bring back memories for you. I mean, uh, talking to Malcolm McKinnon, it's, a, it's an exhibition about people. It's about people and their connection to places, and they've done it in a multifaceted and multimedia way. So I'm um, really quite looking forward to exploring and seeing the, the finer bits of it. But uh, I really also like that the Wool Museum is reaching out into the community and trying to bring the community back to them. And I think it's a great role for the Wool Museum. And when you see 500 people here tonight, they're on the right path, aren't they? And I think you're you, you spot on. Uh, the fact that this exhibition will go through to the sea the, the, and the fact that uh, it's uh, very, very economic to, uh, to come here. And when you viewers, when you realise just how much time you could probably spend three or four hours here to thoroughly enjoy the whole exhibition. And, and Graham, they're inviting people to share their own stories of sense of place and how they connect to Geelong and uh, I reckon you should front up, you'd, uh, you know, Skilled Stadium or, you know, one of the footy grounds, wouldn't you, you know, you'd yeah. have a story to tell. I think I'd have quite a few stories to tell. but You're better uh, than mine. <laughs> Well, I'm a little bit older than you, David, so maybe the memory goes back. But uh, the Geelong News publication's travelling well? We're travelling well, yeah, it's all, all good, really. So we're quite proud of what we're doing and we're uh, supporting Memory Bank uh, over the six weeks and, and we're uh, pre reproducing some of those stories that feature in this exhibition in the paper and we're really happy to do so. David Cairns, the editor of the Geelong News here at the Memory Bank, memory exhibition. Bank exhibition at the National War Museum here on Geelong Newsbeat. A lady who has a lot of history joins us. She was a great uh, lady of Oberon South Primary School. That's right. Lorraine McKay. She was Lorraine Finding in those days. That's right. How are yeah. you, Lorraine? I'm fine, thanks, Graham. Now, a wonderful memory bank exhibition, and uh, you have got some wonderful memories because you've got ancestry that goes way back. Well, my ancestors arrived in Geelong in, uh, on the 16th of October, 1852. They arrived at Point Henry on the uh, ship, the Georgiana, and a lot of Scottish crofters came to Geelong in that uh, era. They all came from the Isle of Skye, the majority of them. And so there are some uh, well-known families in Geelong whose uh, ancestors arrived on that same ship. Now, how long did it take you to, uh, to find that information out? Oh, we've kept a pretty good record. We know where we come from. We know our roots. <laughs> But, you've no, made, but, you, you, but you, your ancestors certainly have made a Geelong home. Well, they started off in Geelong and then uh, they followed farming pursuits and went up to Creswick. And uh, there's a place at Creswick called Snizort, which is named after a place on the Isle of Skye. And uh, then they uh, continued from Creswick up to St Arnold, which was a great Scottish settlement, a lot of the Scottish settlers. Similar to today's people who arrive and they have little um, pockets of, say, the Vietnamese or the Asians or the uh, Europeans, they all stick together. And so the Scottish people all stuck together when they went to St Arnold. So the Memory Bank exhibition at the National War Museum does bring something special to you? Oh, of course it does, and the Wool Museum does too. I used to be a volunteer here for 15 and a half years. So, well, you certainly are, you, you're virtually a part of the furniture. Oh, I 
am, yes. If only these walls could talk. <laughs> if only they could. <laughs> Malcolm McKinnon has done a great job creating the exhibition. It's wonderful. It looks wonderful. This is just the beginning, but I'm coming in on Saturday to have a good look at it. And we encourage all of you out there in viewing land to come in and have a look at this memory exhibition, Memory Bank exhibition on four levels, National Women's Museum here in our great city of Geelong. Thanks to Lorraine McKay, Nee Findling. We'll take a break on Geelong Newsbeat and be back with more after this.